they're invisible. Yet everywhere, in soil, in oceans, in the air you breathe, even inside your body. These are bacteria, the ancient survivors of Earth. They first appeared over 3.5 billion years ago and have outlived everything from mass extinctions to extreme environments. They don't have brains, organs, or complex bodies, just a simple cell structure. But that simplicity is their greatest strength. It allows them to evolve quickly, resist threats, and thrive in places where life seems impossible. And here's what's even more fascinating, bacteria can communicate. This phenomenon is known as quorum sensing. It was first observed in the 1960s in a marine bacterium called Aelia vibrio fees-shuri, which produces bioluminescence. Scientists noticed that the bacteria only glowed when they reached a certain population density. In the early 1970s, researchers J. Woodland Hastings and Kenneth Nielsen proposed that this glow was regulated by chemical signals, molecules now known as autoinducers. Since then, quorum sensing has been found in many bacterial species. These signaling molecules help bacteria assess how many of their kind are nearby. Once a certain threshold is reached, they coordinate actions switching on genes, forming biofilms, releasing toxins, or resisting antibiotics. Modern research has revealed that this microbial communication is far more complex than previously thought. And even cross-species signaling is possible. Understanding quorum sensing has opened new frontiers in medicine. By disrupting bacterial communication instead of killing them outright, scientists are exploring new ways to prevent infections. This strategy could help in the global fight against antibiotic resistance, one of the biggest health threats of our time. Bacteria are not just primitive life forms. They are organized, adaptive, and cooperative. Not the past of life, but its most persistent force. They are ancient chemists of survival, sensing, signaling, and enduring. Long before us, and likely long after us.